What's good? What's happening, Facebook? Man, it is Monday. We're going to break down some beliefs today when you come into this live. Well, if you're watching it on the replay, just let me know where you're watching from. Uh, this camera get crazy when I'm standing up. It like to act like it's on auto director and, and um, want to zoom in when it wants to. But anyhow, let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to wait till a few people pop in. I know a lot of people just jumping out of work or doing whatever it is that you do. Uh, kind of relaxing for the end of the evening, but we're going to break down some beliefs, the beliefs that hold you back from reaching your full potential, the beliefs that hold you back from reaching that full purpose. Uh, so when you come into the room, like I said, let me know where you're watching from. Say hello. Uh, share this with what's going on, Wendy. Share this with any friends that you feel may need to break down some beliefs for once and for all. Man, we're going to get into it because I know my replay viewers, you guys are just as important as my live viewers and my bread and blood, my bread and butter to it all at the same. What's going on, Wendy? I hope you're having a beautiful Monday because it's my favorite day of the week. This is like my Friday. What's happening, Tanya? I'm gonna wait to see if we can get a few more to jump in here before I take off on this one. Tampa, Florida is in the building. Man, is it? I know it's always hot, but it's hot. It's what 105 here in Dallas today. I just can't take it. But I, <laughs> but I'm dealing. That's the that's the beautiful part about being able to work from home, I guess, right? But um. Yeah, come on into the room, man. Say hello. You know, don't be shy about it. We're going to break down some beliefs today because a lot of people are being held back and they don't even realize that it's because of what they believe, what they've been taught to believe, what they've been conditioned to think uh, about themselves or think about life. And first, I want to break down. I'm going to try to run through 10 of them real quick. First, I want to break down entitlement. A lot of people are stuck with this entitlement that they feel like everybody owes them something or that the world owes them something. And as long as they have this uh, idea then they're going to forever be uh, filled with resistance. They're going to ever get that, uh, get that resistance, and resistance creates suffering. So you see a lot of people who are sitting there who suffer a lot. Those are also the people who feel like the world owes them a lot. You know, they feel like they're always being punished for just living their lives, but in actuality, they are not living their lives. They feel like they, they should be owed everything instead of, you know, earning earning what they what they get. So that's the thing also. Learn to break down that. Get rid of that entitlement. That's number one. Get rid of that. Two, you got to let go of the I will be happy when mindset. And if you don't know what I mean by that, so a lot of people that you might hear them, they say, man, I'll be so happy when I get a new job. I'll be so happy when I get a new girl. I'll be so happy when I get a new boyfriend. Well, guess what? You should start working on your happiness now because you just don't pop into the happiness of having a a, a boyfriend or, or any of those types of things. And by the way, they're going to be uh, in the misery as well. Misery loves company. And that's all that you're going to attract. You got to start working on your happiness today if that's what you're looking for. What's going on, Tyra? Appreciate you for checking in, bro. But you got to start working on your happiness today. You can't wait until you get that man and then decide to be happy. You got to start being happy today or the man that likes to keep his woman happy is not going to ever notice you. He, he won't even know what it looks like for you to be happy. You feel what I'm saying? So start working on your happiness today and allow your light to shine and let people see that. That's the second belief that you need to break down for you to be able to move forward to your purpose. Stop comparing yourself to other and your behavior to others. Stop allowing other people to be your benchmark. You understand what I'm saying? You should be your only competition. You are in a league of your own and you should play it in that way. You should wake up every morning and outdo yourself from yesterday. Stop worrying about someone else because someone else may not be at your, high, your highest potential, but you're struggling and pushing hard as you can. You're struggling because you're struggling to reach a potential that you're not even based at. You're supposed to be here and you're trying to get here. You don't realize where you're supposed to be. So stop, uh, stop comparing yourself to others and your behaviors to others. That's three. We're going to knock them out, man. Let's work on four here, man, because thinking about certain amounts of money will equal, thinking that certain amounts of money will equal your, uh, equal your happiness. That's just crazy. I used to, I used to be that person, you know what I mean? But in actuality, more money only adds on to your current situation. So depending on what situation you're in now, if you're the type that likes to go out and uh, have a lot of negative people around you, then more negative people are going to come. You're just going to be uh, in, in different places and, and, and more negative people are going to be tagging along with you. So your situation will only increase. If you're out helping uh, children to feed children, then your ability to do that is going to, is going to increase. You feel what I'm saying? If your thing is building business, then your ability to do that is going to increase. What's going on, Simone? Your ability to do that is going to increase because of that money. So it's all about what you're doing. It's about your attraction. What's your attraction point? You know, what, what are you getting at? So a lot of people like to say money is the root of all evil. It's all about the direction. You feel what I'm saying? So work on that. That's, that's, that's one everybody needs to work on, I feel. 
Uh, believing that a healthy lifestyle, this is, this is my favorite. People that believe a healthy lifestyle is, is too expensive. You know, every 35 days your body creates new cells from the foods that you eat. So you got to think about that when you think about being cheap about what you're going to put into your body. If you cut out a lot of the negative things that you're doing to your body, um, you will be able to actually afford that healthier lifestyle. Facts. And not only that, but your food affects your mood. So if you're looking to do something, if you're looking to build, you're looking to be a better person, you're going to have to put the better foods in your body. You're going to have to start putting the proper fuel in your body to take you where you want to go. You have to. Uh, stop believing that no one will like the real you. Stop believing that no one would like the real you. So many people running around pretending to be someone else just to impress everyone else. Looking for that outer validation. Uh, we spoke earlier about you being in competition with yourself. You are in a league of your own. Stop looking for that outer validation. The only thing that matters is from the inside. Everything with you happens from the inside. You view everything from the inside. You don't see yourself every day in life from the outside of your body. You hear my voice from the inside of your body. You see everything around you from the inside of your body. If you can think on where I'm coming from with this. Everything happens within you. Stop trying to impress those from the outside. Work on your inside and everything from the outside will align to you. You will attract that that you're looking for. Um, you know, stop having the mentality that you have to wait until Friday to have a good time. That Friday is your special occasion time. Stop waiting until Friday to have that special occasion time. Life is the special occasion. You should be having a great time every day of your life. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I got to work four days out of the week. Well, you need to start looking for something that actually makes you happy. Real talk. It's not, nothing says that you're supposed to be stuck in any situation and just be unhappy and put up with it. That's not, that's not the, the reason why you're here. I guarantee you that that's definitely not your purpose. You know, you, you definitely weren't chosen to be miserable here in this place. So uh, definitely get out there and do your thing with it, man. Uh, stop believing that expressing yourself is uh, a sign of weakness. You know, if we, true liberation is being able to express yourself on all, in all forms, being able to be truly liberated, being able to cry when you're sad, being able to, to uh, release your anger when you're mad, being able to laugh when you're happy, being able to express yourself the way you want to. In order to get that positivity, you have to release it all, whether it be negative and positive. You remember we talk about balance and able to have balance and able to keep that bike moving in a positive direction. You still have to have that, right? So, um... Stop with the meaningless relationships just because you don't want to be alone. Stop putting up with bullshit. Stop it. A lot of people are afraid to be alone and they'll put up with anything for the uh, small the small times. You know, for those small times. that those The person that you're looking for is out there. Whether it be a lover, a, 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 your love life or whether it be friendship. Those people that you're looking for to ride with you, your starting five, they are out there. Sometimes you got to bench some people. I talk about this all the time. You got to bench some people to get to the playoffs. And sometimes you might have to bench some other people just to get just to win the finals. You feel what I'm saying? So so stop having these meaningless relationships. You know, um, a, a lot of people have these relationships afraid to be alone because they're afraid to deal with the monsters in the closet. You know, so they'll put up with uh, everybody else that treats them bad, but they won't deal with their own monsters so that they can progress and be the person, be the human being that they're supposed to be. They can start being. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, and, and my favorite is this, man, because I, I, I always have a lot of people that are older than me that, that I kick it with. And I hear a lot of them say, yeah, I wish I could do it like you. I'm just too old. Man, you're not too old for anything. Who? Who gives you that idea that you're too old or you're too fat or you're too, you know, you're too this or you're too that to do anything that you want to do? You plant your seeds. Don't pass them to someone else and expect for them to bloom those seeds, grow those seeds in their garden. Those are your seeds. So if you toss your idea out there to someone and someone tells you that you're too old or tells you that you can't do it or tells you that you don't have enough education for it, that's them taking that seed and growing it with what they believe. And it's all about breaking down beliefs and growing intelligence. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people are lost searching for intelligence trapped in beliefs. So start breaking down those beliefs. Start living outside of the box. There's so much more room. Only so much can fit inside the box. And it's always the same things inside the box. Get the hell out of the box. Live your life. Break those beliefs down. Stay happy, healthy, and humble. Remember, plant-based whole food nutrition is the way. Peace.